how soon we forget. Welcome to SoFlow TV again everybody, it's your host with the most. This story says, our music, no problem. Now, I find this a fitting time to do. The reason why I see me look that way and smile is because Miss Lady over there, so. I find this a fitting time to do this video, given the fact that Ninja Man was one of the artists that Mr. Montague took to this moral boosting event along with Bounty Killer. This is why they were saying that Ninja Man was used, right? And anyways, it's, it's surrounding the whole discussion of our music and our artists, especially dancehall reggae artists then. Are they involved in crime? Are they using their money to boost crime in the country? And are they putting it in their music and that's influencing the youths to commit more crimes? And the role that our music play in such. Alright. So, Montague is saying he refuses to blame the entertainment industry for crimes. Sounds very funny to me because most high society people do tend to blame dancehall music for crimes. Right? And you have other people who are saying that it's more art imitating life and not life imitating art. So... It has been nearly a year since National Security Minister Robert Montague stood side by side with two of Dancehall's most decorated artists, Ninja Man and Bounty Killer. The minister had taken the Dancehall stars to the Jamaica Conference Center in downtown Kingston as part of an attempt to boost the morale of the nation's crime fighters, police officers. If you remember, Ninja Man and Bounty Killer went and performed in front of these police officers at their gathering and also spoke to them and thanked them for their work in the communities that they're doing, so on and so forth. Alright. Uh, fast forward 11 months now and Ninja Man is in jail and has been remanded by the Supreme Court judge as his murder trial gets underway. Montague, however, remains convinced that entertainers are an important part of our society in Jamaica. He said, I see our music as part of our culture. I see it not to promote crime, but help to increase citizens' safety and security, Montague said. A lot of people are going to say, how? If they must sing gunman tune and bad man tune, how is it helping to increase the citizens' safety and security. We are going to talk about that in a minute. Montague said, The minister said that he has scheduled a discussion with players in the entertainment sector. My staff is working with them, a number of entertainers and the promoters, and they are willing to sit down. But what I want is a sit-down of the industry, because they have a role to play. I don't see our local music which is respected worldwide as a problem. I see it as a part of the solution, he said. Montague then asked about the involvement of entertainers in criminality, said that it would be unfair to single out any group in this regard. I have seen minister of religion, I have seen journalists, teachers, we have seen people from all stratas of such, such strata of society so I don't want to pick on the music industry alone in other words he's saying that he has seen people from all strata of society become involved in criminal activities and should be blamed not just from the music fraternity or the music industry alone which truthfully he is absolutely right nobody not talk about the big politician them were involved heavily in crime no one is talking about police officers that are involved heavily in crime. No one is talking about big prominent businessmen that are involved heavily in crime. They tend to stick to the dancehall artists them, or reggae music or music artists them that are involved in crime. In February, Assistant Commissioner Elon Powell, read in the Criminal Investigation Branch, said some entertainers are using their money and influence to drive up crime figures in the country. Now, with an accusation like this, I expect to see proof. Because you can't just throw this kind of information out there with no proof. Several entertainers are people who are misguided. 
They have come in possession of wealth, and instead of using their wealth to promote the good values, they use it to promote the wrong values, he said. At the time, top flight artist Alkaline was treated in relation, was arrested, sorry, in relations to a murder probe. He, Alkaline, was never charged. Several entertainers, including Vibes Cartel, are serving time in prison for crime. Cartel, who is serving a life sentence for the 2011 murder of Clive Davis, Lizard Williams, Clive Williams, or Lizard Williams, should say, has appealed his conviction and sentence. The appeal is expected to be heard February of 2018. All right, check this out. We've said this before, and I'm going to talk about it a little bit more again. Before, I, let me close this video out like this. Our music is powerful. Montague might have a point where he doesn't see the music as, uh, as in a negative light, responsible for a crime then, or driving up crime in the country he's seeing it as maybe he's talking about he's seeing it as something that can be used to promote the good values like for instance if you sit down with the artists them and the industry and say look instead of pushing all these gun song bust out head back with gunshot fly up fly marrow songs instead of pushing these songs how about we start we make it a priority to start pushing music that does not glorify killing. I don't know. Because if the people are listening to the artists that much, right? And the artists are influencing the people's mind that much. If the artists say kill the people, them kill. So if the artists say don't kill, maybe the people them won't kill. Or will chill out with the killing thing. So... In that light, the music is that powerful. Now, I said recently in a video that I can't even I can't even enjoy my gun song them anymore because, and I love the gun tune them, but I was under the impression that we all had common sense and we all knew that this was entertainment, until I get to realize that very differently. So, because I watch the trend on social media, right, and you can actually see. When an artist put out a certain song, you can see the murder rate rise up. And you can test the temperature of the people and actually watch their conversation trend and listen, um, check their comments. It's the same talk that's been talking, um, that's been said in the songs that they actually use in their everyday lingo. And I can't help but to think that a lot of them actually think that them a bad man and them can bust out head and fly Maroto and all that. Matter of fact, Jamaica has taken on a trend where if you don't sing about it, I mean, if you're not doing it, then you shouldn't sing about it kind of thing. So in other words, then, if you are singing gunman song, then it is believed that you are a gunman and are, are surrounded by gunmen. And if you sing say, Maro fly, you must have seen Maro fly or made Maro fly or jump out a man's head. Otherwise, you're not credible, which is dumb as hell because our artists used to be storytellers and a storyteller doesn't have to have seen it or hang around it or do it all the time in order to sing about it. But we've turned it into something else, especially the younger generation. And I could, this, this is going to take a part two video because I have to go over into hip-hop and anything with America do Jamaica follow kind of thing. Now, in America, if you're not killing and then rapping about it or surrounded by killers, then you're not considered credible. If you notice most certain rappers from a certain genre of music, you ha they, they all have a criminal record. They've all been arrested. They've all done prison time kind of thing. And if you haven't, then you're not popping. And I think that has spilled over into our music in Jamaica as well. But, like I said, that would take a whole different video to go more into that. I'm trying to keep this video at 10 minutes, so I'm going to cut it off right here. Leave your comment in the comment section below. Let me hear what you have to say about this. Does the security minister, Robert Montague, have a point? Is our music a threat, or is it something that can be used to stop the violence? It's SoFlo TV, man. I'm up out of here. Peace.